I'm sorry. Great googly moogly. Calm down. Go sit on a tulip. <sighs> Hamilton, what took you so long? I had trouble getting the piano out of my box. Then I had to tune it. I was lonesome, and Maggie is late too. She had to go to town for new shoes. <gasps> Maggie left her shoes here yesterday. <laughs> no, those are the ones her mother gave her to play grown-up. Oh, I wish she'd hurry. It's always more fun when Maggie's here. Hamilton, let's write a song for Maggie. <gasps> Beast, that is a brilliant idea. It is? It is. Now, how do we start? Hmm, how about this? Who can turn a gray sky blue? I've got it. Who can make that sunshine through? Oh, Beast, that's really good. How about this? It's Maggie, and I'm sure you'll agree. Let's run through it. Who can turn a gray sky blue? Who can make that sunshine through? It's Maggie, and I'm sure you'll agree. Hamilton, that sounds great. What is it? We're writing a song for Maggie. Let's hear it again. Okay, here we go. Who can turn a gray sky blue? Who can make that sunshine through? It's Maggie, and I'm sure you'll agree. The bluebird sings, Maggie brings a string of shiny days. So join the band, take her hand, she'll bring you here to nowhere land. Oh, Rudy, that is absolutely great! You have a brilliant brain in that hat. I mean, head. Hey, what gives, guys? I hear music in the air. Hi, Phoebe. We're writing a song about Maggie. Well, now, is that right? Well, let's hear it. Maybe I can help, too. Okay, here we go. That is cool. Great googly moogly. We did it. We sure did. I can't wait until Maggie gets here. She's going to be so surprised. Hamilton, you should wear your top hat. And you can use my cane, Beast. Oh, goody. This is going to be so great. <laughs> <gasps> here comes Maggie now. I can't wait to sing her our song. <gasps> now, please, don't say anything right away. I'll serve some refreshments first. Don't spoil the surprise. Hi, everybody. Where's Hamilton going? He's going to serve some refreshments. That's all I'm going to say, so don't try and wheedle it out of me. It won't do you any good. My lips are sealed. <laughs> you better seal them right now, Beast. What's going on? Um, uh, oh, here comes Hamilton. <laughs> Ooh. Hamilton, would you like me to pour? Thanks, Maggie. Thanks, little lady. Mmm, mmm, delicious. Mm. 
Hi, to Maggie. This blueberry tea will be good for my vocal cords. What's wrong with your vocal cords? <coughs> my lips are sealed. Have a sandwich, beast. Have several. <laughs> Eat! <laughs> <laughs> Will somebody tell me why you're all acting so strange? <laughs> We're not acting strange. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Let's see your new shoes. See? They're all new and shiny. But they're always the same. I like Mary Jane's. Well, I like those red satin high heels. My mother gave me those. They're too big, but I just love them. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> and now, we have a very special dessert. Oh, I hope it's pumpkin cheesecake. No, Beast. This is a special dessert. You know, it's the one we've been working on. Oh, yes. Of course. Silly me. Okay, Maggie, you sit down right there and just listen. Is this dessert? Okay, fellas. Let's do it. Who can turn a gray sky blue? Who can make that sunshine through? It's Maggie. And I'm sure you'll agree. Take it, Rudy. The bluebird sings, Maggie brings a string of shiny days. So join the band, take her hand, she'll bring you here to nowhere land. Who can chase away your blues in her ruby satin dancing shoes? It's Maggie, and you can take it from me. Bluebells ring. Flowers spring right up through the ground. Maggie's fun, she's the one who makes the world a merry-go-round. Who can turn those gray skies blue? Who can make that sunshine through? It's Maggie, it's Maggie that's who. Hamilton, are you home? He's not in his box either. He said we were doing something special today. I wonder where he is. <laughs> Hi, Beast. Hi, Maggie. Hamilton, why were you hiding? I was testing my new hat. It's supposed to make me inconspicuous. That means hard to find. Oh, you were very inconspicuous until we heard you snort. It's important to be inconspicuous when you're going bird watching. <gasps> I love bird watching. Today's the day we're going to spot the rare buffle headed booby. He's the only bird in Nowhere Land I've never seen. <gasps> Here he is. Oh, he's beautiful. Does he know we're coming to see him? Oh, no. He's a very shy bird. So we'll never see him unless we're very, very quiet and... Very inconspicuous. <laughs> Thanks for lending me your vest, Hamilton. It really helps you blend in. I don't think I blend in. Sorry, Beast, but we had to do something about your... well... The way you stop. But you're much quieter now. Oh, good. Do you see 
see anything? I see a sparrow and a crow, but no buffle-headed booby. So now what? We wait. <sighs> I'm bored. Can I borrow your binoculars, Hamilton? Sure, beast. <gasps> I've got giant feet and giant spots <laughs> and a giant spider! <laughs> Really? Teensy Weensy. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <sighs> we may as well have lunch. Maybe if we're really quiet, the birds will come back. Maybe. I made nice, quiet peanut butter sandwiches. You cut them into sailboats. They taste better this way. Hey! <laughs> I think the birds like sailboats, too. <laughs> Aww. What kind of bird eats sandwiches, anyway? It must have been a swallow. <laughs> Get it? A swallow? <laughs> well, they're not going to swallow my lunch. Mmm. I'll give some sandwiches to the birds, too. Good thing I made lots. Good sandwiches, Beast? You're mumbling, Beast. I don't understand you. Scare the birds off again, beast. Oh, juice. Why didn't you say so? <sighs> Thank you, Maggie. <sighs> well, there's one thing we haven't tried yet. <gasps> What's that? It's a bird call to lure out the buffle-headed booby. Maybe it's broken. Oh, we don't need that to call a bird, Hamilton. Allow me. <clears throat> Here, buffle-headed booby! <laughs> Here, buffle-headed booby! Oh, oh, never mind. Let's just go home. I guess I'll never see a buffle headed booby. Stop calling me that. You're a. You're a. Don't say it. I know what I am. Oh, it's just such a silly name that I don't answer to it. If you don't like your name, why don't you change it? Hmm. Change my name? I never thought of that. Sure. You could be, um, Fluffy-Footed Featherhead. You're one to talk. Um, Pink Crown Noblebeak? Rarely spotted. Polka dotted. Never caught it. Huh. That's not very dignified. I think he looks like, a uh, Howard. Beast, that's not a proper bird name. Quah! Who says it isn't? Try it out. Um, how do you do, Howard? Very well, thank you. Hey, that's great! It's so nice to meet you, Howard. Oh, <laughs> don't stop. <clears throat> Howard? Yes? Would you autograph my bird book? With pleasure. To my new friend, 
Hamilton. Hamilton. From Howard. Hamilton and the Bee. There. Oh dear, where do you belong? Over here, Hamilton. I think that cup belongs with this saucer. Right you are, Beast. Thank you. You're welcome. <sighs> Everything has to be perfect for our Nowhere Land tea party. Will everyone have to dress up in funny hats for our tea party? Like the story in that book? What book? The famous book with Alice. You know, the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. Well, I'm not mad, but I do have a great hat collection. Let's see what I can find. Did you find anything yet? Ta-da! What do you think? <laughs> great googly moogly, Hamilton. You look very... Um, distinguished? Yes, distinguished. I think that's the right word. Distinguished. Don't I get a hat too? Of course you do. <gasps> bells! Oh, I love bells. Hmm, looks a bit small. Oh no, Hamilton, it has bells. That's what really matters. I can't wait till Maggie sees us. Me too. Let's surprise her by making the table perfect before she arrives. Hi. Hi, Maggie. Beast, you look very festive today. And Hamilton, you look very, um... Distinguished? Yes, distinguished. Look what I brought for our tea party. Oh, Maggie, thank you. That's just the right thing. Now, I think we're ready. Hmm, let's make sure we have everything. Let me see. Teapot, cups, saucers, spoons. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where's the honey? Uh, the what? The honey. You have to have honey with tea. Oh, yes, honey. I love honey. We must have honey. Come to think of it, I don't like tea at all. I just like honey. Oh, uh, well, actually, um, I'm out of honey. <gasps> well, we can't have a tea party without honey. We just have to find some honey. But where? Oh, I know. Let's go ask the bees for some. Oh, Maggie, I, I don't know. Bees can be very nasty sometimes. Hmm. That is true. Maybe if we asked very politely, they would just give us some honey. Or if you were a bee, Hamilton, maybe you could borrow some. But I'm not a bee. Oh, I get it. <laughs> what a wonderful idea, Maggie. Hamilton, would you go and put on your black and yellow striped sweater? We'll need two ping pong balls and some wire as well. Ping pong balls? <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. <laughs> and now you're a bee. I am? Now when you get to the beehive, the queen bee will think you are a bee. She will? Uh-huh. And then she'll give you some honey. Do you think this will work, Beast? <laughs> Beast? <clears throat> well, to be more bee-like, you could try buzzing. Okay. <clears throat> Buzz? Louder! Buzz? Louder! Buzz! That's it! Perfect! Now we're ready to go. Now, remember, Hamilton, be bold. Oh. Uh, okay. Buzz. Buzz. Um, uh, excuse me. Oh, my. Buzz. Um, 
I'm just a bee. <laughs> just another bee like you who has run out of honey. Do you think you could lend me some honey? Oh, uh, please? <laughs> oh, did you get the honey yet? Shh, I'm working on it. Oh. I don't think the bee thinks I'm a bee. Oh, Hamilton, you make a fine bee. Try flapping your arms and running around a bit, Hamilton. That would look even more bee-like. Okay. Bzzz. 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 Yes, that's it. Bzzz. 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 Hamilton! Shh! Uh, bzzz, bzzz. Majesty. Oh, many, many thanks. Uh -huh. Oh, um, buzz, buzz. <laughs> oh, oh, that sure was frightening. Gee, Hamilton, I don't know what you were afraid of. She looked kind of nice to me. Hmm. Anyway, the important thing is we got the honey. We got. <laughs> Say, beast, your antennae are very becoming. <laughs> <laughs> very funny. Well, for our tea party, I think everything has turned out just beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>